What's up guys? It's Kara Corey here and it's the weekend and I'm getting ready to go do a leg workout but I got a package in the mail this week that I wanted to share with you so that I can wear it to the gym but I was fortunate enough that Chris Jones, you guys know him, if you don't already go subscribe, um, has a new clothing line out called Pump Chasers and he just got out a whole new line of women's workout clothes. So he sent me some of those clothes, him and Denise, I gotta give a shout out to Denise in there if she's watching this, um, sent me some of their new women's clothing line. So I wanted to share that with you guys and kind of talk about it a little bit. So if you hear some snoring in the background, that would be my Bulldog Winston. I figure it's only appropriate that uh, for those that watch Chris, you guys know Chris is also a Bulldog owner with Bruno, his man Bruno. And us Bulldog owners, we just speak like a different language. You know what I'm saying? Like, like me and Chris, we could just talk a different language that y'all don't understand because you don't own Bulldogs. It's like our own little world up in here, us Bulldog owners. So I had to have have Winston in the background, it was only appropriate. But let me show you all these goodies I got. Super excited. It was awesome of them to send me this stuff. Um, so this first item is some leggings and it's got pump, you can probably see it's got pump written all over it and let me make sure I'm showing you the front. There's the front of them. This is a size extra small. And I love the feel of these pants. Can you see me stretching them? They have like this super nice material to them. I don't know if it's listed what they used, but like these are the nice leggings. Like these are good ass leggings. You're not gonna be able to see through them, like some pants. Um, the quality almost feels to me like Lululemon, um, some of the Lululemon leggings that I own. Like that's the kind of quality this feels like, which is really nice because I've gotten a lot of workout clothes at like expos and stuff like that. And you kind of never know the quality and how well it's gonna last, but it feels pretty legit. And I really like that pattern because I actually, believe it or not, all the gray leggings, or all the leggings that I own for the gym, I don't have any gray leggings. So pretty excited for those. And this is um, a pair of crops. And again, this is a different material than what I showed here, but this is, I'm sorry guys, I'm not good with like material names, but it's that like nylon-y type, like dry fit kind of feel so that you're not, it's not cotton where you're gonna be like soaking wet and stay wet with, with crotch sweat. You guys know what I'm talking about. But this also has like a really cute pattern on it. And for me, I like that the pattern comes on the side of the leg. Um, and then it wraps around the butt. And I like that because what that does for us ladies who are a little thicker in the leg, you know, in the thighs, Winston knows what I'm talking about, and the booty, it kind of like attracts your eye in a nice way to the outer thigh and then takes you to the glute. You know what I'm saying? So I think those are gonna look really nice on my body type. But those are really cute and it's got the little pump logo on it. And the other thing, no, it's not these ones. I think it's the other pair. Um, yeah, so those are the crops with like the little purple flower theme on the side. Very cute. And then these are my absolute favorite. These are another pair of full length leggings. <clears throat> don't get your meat flaps on them. These are awesome. I don't have any pants that look like this. I love the, can you see it or is Winston in the, is he blocking the, you in my way buds. Take it a step back, son. Take it a step back, have a seat, have a seat. Thank you, stay there. So these are super cute. I love that it says pump chasers right on the front there. And I just like the pattern, how it does that. And then you've got the little pump logo down on the bottom too. And there's the back of them. And these are a size small. Love those, those are awesome. So I will probably wear those to the gym today. So I got those full length leggings. Um, I did just out of curiosity so I could share with you guys costs on this stuff online. And the nice thing about this stuff is super nice quality and his prices are very affordable. It's not like, 
it feels like Lululemon quality, but you're not paying that kind of price. I think it was like $38 for leggings, which is really nice. And then we've got some tanks. This one has the little pump logo there. Um, this again is that kind of like, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's that nice like dry fit kind of material. <laughs> yeah, Winston just randomly burps. He just got done on his breakfast, very unimpressed. But so it's that nice fit so that you're not staying all sweaty during your workout, which I sweat like a mother, so good. So I got that one with the blue logo. And then another one with the little hot pink logo. So it's a size small, which is good because I kind of like them to not, I don't like a lot of like skin tight tank tops. So and as Chris says, then it doesn't hug your gut if you're bulking. I don't know how many ladies bulk, but um, I think a lot of girls do actually, to be honest with you. So these were the clothes that they sent me. Thank you, um, Chris and Denise, so much for sending me this stuff. I cannot wait to wear it today. Um, you guys can go over to Pump Chasers, pumpchaserclothing.com. I'll have the link below um, along with Chris's Pump Chaser YouTube. If you guys don't subscribe there already, go subscribe. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna give this some of my outfits a try. You'll see those in my videos and I think that's it for right now. Uh, thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, it's Kara here, and it's been a little bit since I've shown you some workout footage, so um, I was able to get a leg day in and get some footage for you guys. I was wearing my Pump Chaser clothing line here that you just saw from the previous clip, and I absolutely loved these leggings for squats because I am actually very particular and what I squat in because I don't like my pants to like move around on me or be too tight and these fit me perfect. Um, these were a size small for anyone interested. But this leg day is brought to you the day after um, a pretty high, um, I won't call it a reefy day, I pretty much I went out and had whatever I wanted to eat for dinner the night before with my family. So I was trying to really have a good workout on this day for legs. Um, my back felt a little off this day, something, my lower back, like, I don't know what happened, but I just decided to keep it light and, you know, and that's okay to keep it light and just make sure you're feeling the burn in all the right places. So for me, from my judge's critique from my past competition, the one thing that I was told for, um, you know, improvement was to work on shaping my glutes a little bit more in order to get that like rounder glute shape, you know, that nice little apple bottom. So I don't know exactly how to do that, how to round my glutes, but really my approach is going to be to just keep doing what I've been doing and keep training hard and consistently. Um, as you guys know, I am reversing my diet, but I'm not taking a break from my training. I'm not, you know, I'm just going to keep the intensity going with my workout. So here I'm showing you kind of a different glute workout idea that I got from a few people I've seen do it on Instagram. And I was kind of like hesitant. I was like, you know, it looked like it maybe it would hurt your knees or not work so well. But I liked that movement. So you guys should give that one a try. You really just have to squeeze nice and hard. Um, and my glutes are super sore today because I'm doing this commentary a day after this workout. And um, so this is just a basic hack squat. I haven't done hack squats in a while. Um, it was one of those days where I kind of felt like I wasn't sure if I got a good workout with my lower back hurting, so I wasn't going as heavy as possible. But then today when I got to the gym and tried doing cardio and just walking, my lower body is super sore. So sometimes you don't think you're getting a great workout and you are. So don't feel like just because you have to go lighter, you're not getting a badass workout in. Um, and for leg press as well, I did keep it light and just, you know, really focusing more like on leg day, you wouldn't think you would need that mind-muscle connection as much, but for me, I really do because I need to make sure I'm pushing through my heels and I really want to focus on my backside, my glutes, my hams, more so than my quads, even though I clearly still do like a lot of quad dominant type movements just because a lot of leg movements do involve quads. Um, I have consistently been doing leg day twice a week um, since 
well for a while now. Um, but for my next prep, and I think after we get back from Mexico, my plan is to start incorporating, um, trying to do leg day three times a week, or maybe I don't do that third leg day, like a whole, like my entire workout, but just working the hams more, um, which is what I've been doing consistently, is throwing in those extra ham exercises. And it worked, it paid off. You could see my hamstrings on show day. So now I'm just gonna focus more on still doing that, but throwing in those extra glute specific exercises. I just bought like a pad, a squat type pad to use so I can do those glute bridges, hip bridges or whatever to um, really focus on my, my booty and list your favorite booty exercises below. I'm always looking for good booty exercises. Um, stiff leggeds and different variations of stiff leggeds will always be my favorite for hamstrings because whether I go light or heavy, I just always feel that isolating in my hamstring and I'm always sore the next day. So I love these. And again, I did keep it a little lighter on this day because of my lower back. Um, and I really make sure to try to keep my chest arched. I don't know if you can tell, like I try to keep my back arched and my chest up, I mean. And I kind of try to push my hands forward a little bit. I don't know that you can really tell, but it really helps me feel that extra burn in my hamstrings. So I think my hamstrings are pretty, I think they're, I've got like better hamstrings than what I give myself credit for just because it's an area that I continually have to work to lean out to get that separation between my glute and my hamstring. How cute is my outfit, you guys? I love this outfit. This looks awesome. You guys can check the uh, Pump Chaser clothing line out at pumpchaserclothing.com, I believe. Um, and my spray tan, actually it's not a spray tan, it's Glow Pro Tan. That actually looks pretty nice. That was after putting it on a day ago. So, hope you guys enjoyed um, this some of my leg day footage. And give it a like if you did. Keep checking back for more.